This is quite a fish story that will get your attention. Imagine fishing and all of a sudden you're reeling what looks like a piranha. Yeah, that is what uh -huh. happened to a husband and wife in Lake St. Clair, and they are sharing their real life fish story with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner, who's live now at the lake in Harrison Township. Creepy looking, Jim. It is, Jeff and Joanne. Take a look. This is a popular fishing place. This is Waterside Park at Shook and Jefferson. It was Wednesday night. It was starting to get dark. They didn't know what they had landed. I was like looking. I'm like, holy. Yeah, I said a few <laughs> not nice words. We opened the mouth and and like there's look at the teeth in that thing <laughs> that that's a piranha no it's not a piranha but what's called a paku a tropical fish from the amazon that probably got dropped here into lake st Clair by someone who had it as a pet in a home aquarium couldn't keep it and didn't want to kill it while this one is about a foot long they can grow to become two feet long this one was big enough Get the net, it's a big one. And he goes, What is it? I don't know. And we've caught big fish before, but this was a good fight. A paku can be aggressive, but the good news is they are not carnivores like a piranha, but vegetarians. He hit on a night crawler, probably because he was hungry. He's a healthy, healthy little bugger. For now, he's on ice. They may turn him over to the DNR if they want him for study, or they're considering having him mounted so they don't have to prove this. Big fish story. So many people said to me, Well, why don't you eat it? Well, when we fish, we usually catch and release anyway. Okay. So, this, I don't know how piranha tastes, but I didn't think I would want to try it. Okay, yes, you're probably thinking, Yes, these fish are legal. You can buy them small at area tropical fish stores I called around. They run about 12 to 13 bucks. The DNR says, don't bring them out here and drop them into the lake, please. Jeff and Joanne, I was swimming in this lake this weekend. I don't think you'd want one of those coming right up next oh. to you. Yeah, Jim, not at all. You look pretty casual today. Looks like you reeled that in yourself, but I have a question. Uh, I have a question. So, so has the DNR seen these Paku fish before in our waters? Yeah, I talked to the DNR agent. He says he's been on the job more than 20 years. He's seen these kind, the specific breed, about a half dozen yeah. times, by the way. They are any way you slice it, quite the fish story. Yeah, certainly. Jim, thank it you. Is.